Hello everyone. Thank you for being here today. Today we are going to dive into an exciting and transformative topic, microservices architecture in cloud native systems. We will explore how microservices have evolved, the key principles behind them, challenges in their implementation and best practices that industry leaders follow. By the end of the session, you will have a solid understanding of microservices and how they fit into modern cloud environments. Let's get it started. What is microservices architecture? To begin, let's define microservices architecture. In simple terms, it is an approach to software design where an application is built as a collection of small, loosely coupled services that work together. This is a huge shift from the additional monolithic way of building application and it's crucial in cloud native environments for a few key reasons. The first is it allows application to scale more efficiently. It speeds up development cycles. It enables rapid deployment and continuous delivery. Throughout the session, we will unpack these ideas and see how they play out in real world applications. Let's take a moment to talk about monolithic architecture. And traditional software development applications are built as a single unit. While this approach uh, works well for smaller projects, as applications grow, monolithic structures become difficult to maintain. Here uh, are some key challenges with monoliths. Uh, a large code base makes updates complex and time consuming. Scaling requires redeploying the entire application, which is not efficient. Slower deployment cycles make it hard to quickly roll out new features. This is why companies are shifting towards microservices, which allow teams to develop, deploy, and scale services independently. It's a game changer for modern software development. So when does it make sense to transition from monolith to microservices? If your application is growing and becoming difficult to manage, microservices might be the answer. If you need independent scaling for different components of your application, if DevOps and continuous deployment are priorities for your team. This shift requires careful planning, uh, but when done, it brings incredible benefits in terms of agility, resilience, and scalability. To successfully design microservices, we need to follow some key principles. SRP, the single responsibility principle. Each service should do one thing and do it well. This keeps services lightweight and maintainable. Loose coupling and high cohesion. Service should be independent but still work together efficiently. The API first approach. All communication should happen through well defined API, making integration smoother. Domain driven design. Services should align with business capabilities, ensuring better organization and maintainability. Keeping these principles in mind will help us build scalable and efficient microservices architectures. Now let's look at the core components that make Microsoft service communication. This can be synchronous with REST or gRPC for real-time interactions or asynchronous uh, message queues like Kafka or for the decoupled communication. Service discovery ensures that microservices can dynamically find and interact with each other. API Gateway acts as, as the entry point managing security, load balancing, and routing. Database per service. Each service should have its own database to maintain independence. Together, these components create a robust and efficient microservices architecture. To deploy and manage microservices effectively, we use some key technologies, containers and Kubernetes. Containers like Docker package microservices, making them portable. Kubernetes automates uh, deployment, scaling, and management. Serverless and function as a service fast. This allows a uh, micro execute on demand without managing the infrastructure. CICD pipelines. 
it automates testing, deployment, and updates, enabling continuous integration and delivery. Uh, tools helps streamline development and ensure that applications run smoothly in production. Of course, microservices come with their own set of challenges. Data consistency and distributed transactions. Managing transactions across multiple services can be complex. Service communication, choosing between REST, gRPC, or message brokers impacts performance. Security, implementing authentication, authorization, and zero trust security is crucial. These are some of the biggest hurdles teams face when adopting microservices, but with the right strategies, they can be effectively managed. Monitoring services is critical for maintaining performance and debugging issues. Key tools include Prometheus and Grafana, used for collecting and visualizing metrics. Open a standard framework for observability. We also focus on logging to track events in the system, tracing to follow requests as they move through the different services, metrics, to monitor application performance. The issues we can detect and resolve issues before they become the major problems. Let's take a look at how industry leaders have successfully implemented microservices. Netflix, one of the pioneers of microservices, they transitioned to this model to handle massive scalability requirements. Uber, originally built as monolith, Uber moved to microservices to improve agility and manageability. These examples show that microservices are not just a trend, they are a necessity for companies operating at a scale. As we wrap up, here are some key takeaways for implementing microservices successfully. Start small and evolve. Don't try to migrate everything at once. Begin with one service and expand gradually. Automate everything. CICD testing and deployments should be fully automated. Designed for failure and resilience, use retry circuit breakers and fallback mechanisms to handle failures gracefully, which is resilience. Continuous learning and monitor performance, collect feedback and keep refining the system. By following these best practices, uh, organizations can fully leverage the benefits of microservices. Brings us to the end of our discussion. Microservices enhance scalability, agility, and resilience, but they require careful planning, security concentrations, and robust monitoring. I hope this session has provided you with valuable insights into designing, deploying, and managing microservices in cloud native environments. Uh, now, I'd love to hear from you. Do you have any questions? Thank you for your time.